بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله Chapter 5.2 to 7b Help notes for Nahmad and Hayward A new Arabic grammar How to make a sound masculine plural Let's start off with a word such as Muslim which can have any one of the final states it could be marfu hence muslimun mansub musliman or majrur muslimin <coughs> and then see how we found how we form the sound masculine plural so the first step is we must remove the final letters short vowel in other words the final letter is meme <coughs> remember this alif is not considered as the final letter because it's a spelling convention or a writing convention so it's still the meme which is the original final letter so if we do that we will get muslim <coughs> and we won't have any uh, haraka or sukun on the meme next step we want to do is we need to go back to the acts analysis we need to find out what is the hal of the word we are dealing with <coughs> if it is marfu' then we put a dhamma on the meme and then we add a waw with a sukun and a noon with a fatha to the end so we will get musli muna <coughs> if on the other hand the word is either mansub or majroor so musliman is mansub muslimin is majroor then we would instead of putting a dhamma on the meme we would put a kasra under the meme <coughs> and then we would add ya with a sukun and noon with a fatha to the end of the word so that would form muslimina so the, these are the two forms of the sound masculine plural jam al mudhakkar as salim when the jam mudhakkar as salim is marfu' then we write it una muslimuna for example if it is mansub or it is majrur then it's written the same way for both mansub and majrur we write it as muslimina and the reason the wow is in the red and the ya is in the red <coughs> is because the arab grammarians consider the wow to be acting as the marker of the case or hal this word we can tell is marfu' because it has a waw ending muslimuna if it has a ya ending we can tell that it is either mansub or it is majrur because both have this ya instead of the waw in order to further find out whether it's mansub or majrur then we have to look in the sentence and see what the word is doing if the word <coughs> has alif lam normally when it is munsarif we just remove the new nation instead of muslimun we read al muslimu instead of musliman we read al muslima instead of muslimin we read al muslimi what do we do again the same things remove the final letters short vowel then we work out what hal it is is it marfu in which case we will add a dhamma on the meme and then add a waw with a sukun and a noon with a fatha and we will get al muslimuna note the al doesn't actually change the final vowel we never had two vowels when we didn't have al and we don't have a single we don't delete the final vowel with the al so the al has no effect on the ending of the word when it is jam al mudhakkar as salim <coughs> likewise if we quickly go to the other side we get al muslimina again the al has no effect on the final vowel because the final vowel with the noon is fixed the only thing that changes with the case is the ya and the al does not cause any change to the final vowel of the haraka right let's carry on an alert for a potential confusion look at this word muali mim ya nun do we read it muali mina 
which is the Jam Muzakkar Salim, sound masculine plural, or should we read it Mu'alli Maini? You can't tell if there is no tashkil, no short vowels on the Meem, the Ya and the Noon. Because this is written exactly with the same spelling. Meem, Ain, Lam, Meem, Ya, Noon. This is the same. Meem, Ain, La, Meem, Ya, Noon. The only difference is that this Meem has a Fatha and this Noon has a Kasra. Whereas this Meem has a Kasra and the Noon has a Fatha. Mu'allimina is the sound masculine plural, i.e. teachers. And Mu'allimaini is the Muthanna or dual, two teachers. The important thing I want you to remember is the direction of the <coughs> vowels. So in the dual, they go from up to down. We can imagine that the meme has a fatha, which is up. The ya has a sukun, which is almost on the line. And the noon has a kasra, which is below the line. So just remember that pattern. Whereas with muali mina, the sound masculine plural, we start below the line. So it's a kasra. The ya has a sukun, so we're at the middle. And then the noon has a fatha when going above the line. So when the vowels go in that direction, that's the sound masculine plural. When it is mansub or majroor. And when the vowels go in this direction, then it is the muthanna, which is also when it is mansub or majroor. <coughs> so when the text is unvoweled, the al muthanna and the jam al mudakkar al salim in the oblique hal, i.e., majroor or mansub look the same. So just be aware of that potential confusion. Use the context to work out which to use. <coughs> so just let's update our acts table. So far we dealt with munsarif words, then we dealt with mamnu min as sarf, then we dealt with musanna or the dual. In this video we've dealt with jam al mudakkar as salim. When it is when they are definite in, sorry, indefinite or definite, there is no difference in the final letter. It's noon fatha, noon fatha, noon fatha, noon fatha, noon fatha, noon fatha. So when it's indefinite, we don't have a double fatha on the noon. We only have a single fatha. So we don't look at the last letter. We don't concentrate on the last letter when we're looking at the jam mudakkar, al mudakkar as salim. When the word is marfu, the case marker is the wow with a sukun, whether it's definite, indefinite or definite. And if it is <coughs> mansub or majroor, these two are exactly the same. Ina, 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 ina. And the marker of the case is the ya, the whole letter. This is in contrast to munsarif and mamnu min as sarf, where the marker are the vowels on the last letter of the word. So two dhammas for marfu, two fathas for mansub, two kasras for majroor, and the munsarif nakira. And we've already covered the other vowel endings. The jam al mudakkar as salim is very much like the al muthanna, where the ya in the muthanna represented mansub or majroor here ya ya, which is exactly the same except that the vowel pattern is different. We've talked about the arrows going down in the Muthanna and the arrows going up in the Jam al mudakkar as salim The only difference is that in the Marfu' state, instead of having an Alif, as which, we, which is what we have in the Muthanna, to represent the Marfu' we have a Waw instead. وَآخِرُ دَعْوَانَا أَنِ الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ